We were married almost 50 years when she passed away. That's a long time. So you really get, um, I mean, you think each other's thoughts, you know, have a lot of common interests, you share everything in your life together, and that's suddenly gone. My wife uh, developed what they thought was Alzheimer's probably six years ago at this point. And uh, with further diagnosis, it was discovered she had frontal temporal dementia. But it took a couple of doctors to go to and before that diagnosis and some testing, you know, PET scan, MRIs. Uh, and I could tell she was not herself, but didn't quite know what was going on. And um, so after that diagnosis uh, with the last neurologist, he confirmed that that was indeed the dementia she was suffering. I decided to have in-home care people. So we went through a whole series of ladies coming into the house. When the incontinence started, I thought, this is not working at night. So I investigated some uh, dementia care facilities in Shelby. Well, she wasn't there a week when she had an episode which did it. I mean, she just died. So I was still unpacking boxes and getting the house in shape and all that. So it was, it was like a move and an intimate death. It was just horrendous. And then, um, having gone to this church off and on for you know, since my daughter introduced me to it, I plugged into what then was their grief share program here at Life Fellowship. And um, I can't tell you how much that helped me because I was just floundering. That's the worst, darkest time I've ever had in my life. The most heart-wrenching, the most emotionally upheavaling. It was tremendous, tremendous boost to me. Just knowing that I wasn't alone and I was feeling the same thing thousands and thousands of other people have gone through. So thankfully for that, from that program, I was able to get some footing and I felt I'm not alone and learned that we all experience grief in different ways. There's no pre-programmed right or wrong. You know, you can't get a grip on your life and you can't move forward. That program really helps you anchor yourself into who you are, especially who you are in Christ. And I got closer to the Lord through that experience. I and mean, that was the priceless gift out of that whole tragedy for me was, was getting closer to Him. And without Christ, I would have never gotten through those five years or so of anguish and heartache. Never. And emotionally, it just drains you, drains you completely. So I was thankful to the Grief Share program uh, for what they taught me. What, what the program taught me, how it helped me uh, get in my mind and emotions that I'm unique as a person, but my experience is not that unique. Everybody goes through it, different stages, different ways of handling it. And uh, I came out on the other end feeling much more, more in control of my life, uh, more, more a just settled, as to she's with the Lord, there's no doubt in my mind, but it's learning to live on my own without my, really, my soulmate.